Just as the U.S. stock markets closed, President Donald Trump delivered the news to Capitol Hill. He's going forward with the U.S.-Mexico trade framework without Canada for now. After rushing to Washington Tuesday to represent Ottawa at the trade talks, Canadian Foreign Affairs Minister Christian Freeland ended Friday saying there was progress, but not enough. The two sides failed to meet a deadline, but agreed to continue talks next week. The government of Canada will not sign an agreement unless it's good for Canada and good for Canadians. Canada wants the United States to agree to a dispute resolution panel. And according to a spokesperson for the U.S. Trade Representative, Ottawa has not given any ground on agriculture, something Washington wants. They've taken advantage of our country for many years. They have tremendous, tremendous uh, trade barriers, and they have tremendous tariffs. Dairy products are, do you know this, Mark, almost 300 percent tariff. Trump has now acknowledged he told Bloomberg News off the record he would give no concessions to Ottawa. Remarks then leaked to the Toronto Star, quote, it's going to be so insulting, they're not going to be able to make a deal. For him to say that we're going to have to basically, it's an all or leave it proposition, then I would suggest it makes it easier for the Canadian team to walk away. Nobody wants to do that, but nobody's going to get bullied into a bad deal. Canadian Foreign Minister Christian Freeland was also asked whether or not she brought up U.S. President Donald Trump's remarks behind closed doors with her American counterparts. She simply took the next question. She also says she'll be back here in Washington on Wednesday to begin talks again. Jessica Stone, CGTN, at the Canadian Embassy in Washington.